Dr. Marwan Sabah. I am the Director of Translational Research at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Rubo Center for Brain Health. Next, we're going to talk about Down syndrome and Alzheimer's disease, a need for better recognition and understanding. Now, a lot of clinicians are aware there's a link between Down syndrome and Alzheimer's disease, but it's historically you need to understand that the reason there's an increased interest and focus and linkage is because the life expectancy of a person with Down syndrome has dramatically increased. Just two generations ago, a person with Down syndrome rarely lived past their teenage years. A generation ago, they would live into the uh, mid to 20s. And now we see patients living well into their 60s and 70s. And why is that? It's because they used to have serious uh, heart defects and the thyroid disorders, which we now fix. So the consequence of that is that the Down syndrome people are aging well into their 60s and 70s, and we're seeing more and more and more Alzheimer dementia developing. Studies have shown that by the age of 40, almost all people with Down syndrome have evidence of brain change in their brain. Uh, our group and others have shown that by age mid 30s or mid to late 30s, you can see uh, amyloid PET showing uh, 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 the accumulation of amyloid on their, uh, on their amyloid PET. And by mid 40s, they start to uh, have uh, onset of symptoms. The risk of AD in adults with Down syndrome can uh, stir deep feelings in patients and their families, particularly the families, because they've already endured a lot of grief and anxiety and stress of caring for people with Down syndrome. And now they have to face yet another challenge, which is the onset of dementia. Often people with Down syndrome uh, are excluded from clinical trials. I will tell you there's new developments with new networks of Down syndrome research studies that are trying to address this. As you know, Down syndrome ultimately is uh, trisomy 21, so the third uh, chromosome 21, but that's where the amyloid precursor protein gene is expressed. And so you have overexpression of the APP gene, which causes overproduction of amyloid. So fundamentally, Alzheimer's disease in Down syndrome is an overproduction disease, not an underclearance disease. Like I said earlier, nearly all adults with Down syndrome have neuropathology of Alzheimer's disease by their fourth decade. Uh, that's nearing 100%. More than half of adults with Down syndrome in their 60s have uh, exhibited clinical symptoms, that number is actually more like 60, 70, 80%. Caring for people with Down syndrome by itself has its own burdens, uh, and adding Alzheimer's disease adds an extra burden to it. Uh, I'll tell you, having, again, taken care of a lot of patients with Down syndrome in my career, uh, some are still living at home with their elderly parents. So they're coming into my clinic they're by the you know they're already in their mid 40s. Their parents are elderly, uh, 70s, 80s, and the families are already kind of stressed uh, from having cared for a loved one with Down syndrome, and they're themselves being aged are starting to develop their own health problems. So this is an additional burden to patients, uh, and we don't have easy mechanisms on how to transition them. Together, more needs to be done to work towards a brighter outcome for those with Alzheimer's disease and Down syndrome. I'm pleased to say there is increasing interest in researching this, and we are now seeing clinical trials of people with Down syndrome to see if we can affect their future uh, with, and perhaps see a future without the Alzheimer's disease.